Hello, I'm Daniel, and uh, welcome to the Amuna Project. Uh, we here at the Amuna Project, uh, in, in our uh, ongoing effort to uh, help you get close to God, close to Judaism, and close to the Jewish people, we're going to give you a little bit of the lay of the land. If you're in synagogue at the time of this recording, uh, this coming Shabbos is Shabbos Zachor. It's the Shabbos before the holiday of Purim. And um, in the synagogue, you will notice that the Torah reading and the Haftarah reading have different melodies. And this coming week on Purim, when they read the scroll, Megillus Esther, the book of Esther, you will notice that that too has a separate melody. So I'm going to give you a little taste of these melodies. Please pardon my horrible voice. And um, just to give you a little heads up what to listen for. Uh, when you're in shul. So, um, the, as you may know, the Torah reading on a Shabbos is divided into seven parts. The last part is a mufter. Now, because it's Shabbos Zachor, a special Shabbos reading before Purim, the regular mufter is, uh, is replaced with this one. Uh, the selection that normally comes in um, uh, Kiseitzi, but uh, here it goes. Zachor Es Asher Salacha Amalech Baderek Batzeschem Mimitzraim Asher Karcha Baderek. You see, it has um, uh, its regular Torah melody. Now, when it comes to the Haftar, the Haftar, as you may recall from a previous uh, video, and if not, I'll tell you now, Haftar was instituted. Uh, more than 2,000 years ago, during times of persecution, when the Jewish people were not allowed to read the Torah scroll in public on pain uh, of death, what the rabbis instituted was the Haftar reading. And what they would do is they would make the Haftar reading readings from uh, some selections from the uh, prophets and the writings. We don't read all of Isaiah. We don't read all of uh, Jeremiah. Uh, most of Jeremiah, most of Isaiah, most of Hosea, most of Ezekiel, we don't read. Just certain little connections. And the connection is either to the regular Torah reading or, as in this case, it's a connection to Shabbat Zachor and Purim. So the Torah reading, uh, the half Torah reading, it mentions, again, like the, um, the, the, uh, the Torah reading, it mentioned Amalek. Uh, remember what Amalek did to you? This one also mentions them all. This is the Haftarah for Shabbos Zachor. Different melody. Keep your ears open. Ko amar adonai tzvaos b'katid es asher asa amalech l'Israel asher sam lo baderech ba'aloto mimitzrayim. Different melody. So now. Um, come next week, if Bezrus Hashem, with God's help, you will be in a synagogue and listen to the Megillah reading. They will take out a, a small uh, scroll of the Book of Esther, and they will read from the Book of Esther. And that reading also has its own melody. And uh, Megillah's Esther melody goes like this. Vaihi bime Akashverosh, who Akashverosh, Hamulek me hold the Viad Kush, Sheva the Esrimu meam, Medina, Bayami, Mayam Kisheves, Amalek, Akashverosh. The melody for um, the McGill reading. Keep your ears open when you're in Shul. Notice the different melodies for the Torah reading, the Half Torah reading, and the McGill reading. Um, You'll, at first, it'll just all sound unusual, but in time, your ears will become attuned. You will notice the difference between Torah and half Torah and, and the Megillah and the reading for the Lamentations. The Ten Commandments also have um, a different melody. There's two different melodies, one for this, one for that. Um, your ears will become attuned to it and you'll enjoy it and you'll like it and you'll want more. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along this line, how to make you feel more at home in a synagogue. Until next time, on behalf of the Muno Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you so much.